Hello and welcome back to Political Empire. I'm Jeff Horseman with the Press Enterprise and PE.com. In today's show, we're going to discuss uh, an endorsement that uh, backfired for a local Democrat. And uh, then we're going to take a look at what's going on in Hemet with uh, their debate they're having about how they should provide police and fire services. Uh, so first, Ontario Councilman Paul Vincent Avila found out the hard way you don't endorse candidates from a political party when you're serving on the opposing party's governing board. Uh, Mr. Avila, one of four Democrats in uh, the special election for the Inland Area's 32nd Senate District, was ejected from the San Bernardino County Democratic Central Committee a few weeks after he endorsed one of his Republican opponents in the contest, Ontario Mayor Paul Leon. Uh, San Bernardino County Democrats and the state party have endorsed Assemblywoman Nor Norma Torres, a Democrat from Pomona, for that uh, 32nd Senate seat. Uh, now on to Hemet, where a debate is raging over whether the city should keep its police and fire departments or hire Riverside County to keep the public safe. And here to talk about the, uh, the dispute is uh, our Hemet reporter, Craig Schultz. So, Craig, why is the city considering outsourcing its uh, police and fire services? The city's looking to save money anywhere it can. It's facing a $2.7 million budget shortfall for the next year. And as the mayor has told me, he, he just wants to get the best service for the lowest price, so he's lo looking everywhere he can to save a dollar. All right. Now, I understand Jeff Stone, the Riverside County Supervisor's name, has come up in all this. It, many people in the community feel it's a, a power grab by Stone to get the uh, fire and ultimately the police department under county control. Um, at the meeting the other night where they discussed the fire projects, there are some videos played by some... Uh, other council members, that at least one of them, uh, Jeff Comitero in Temecula, said Jeff Stone solicited his comments in favor of the fire department. All right. And uh, I understand that Hammett's police chief has uh, kind of gone to bat for his department on all this. Dave Brown got tired of hearing all the rumors, said morale is down. As you can understand, if you're worried about your job, it makes it harder to perform that job sometimes, especially something as critical as a police officer. So... With all the rumors around, Brown decided he's going full bore. He'll answer any rumors and de defend his department anytime he gets a chance. All right. And uh, speaking of other Hemet news, I understand there's a uh, departure in uh, the city government. Assistant City Manager Mark Orm turned in his resignation on Wednesday to take a job in Chico as Assistant City Manager there. Interestingly enough, the City Manager in Chico is Brian Nakamura, who was Hemet's city manager up until August. When Nakamura left, Orm got the job on an interim basis, but when a new council majority came in in December, they decided to hire Ron Bradley, a well-respected former city manager of Temecula and Murrieta. So talking to Mark this morning, he just said it, w it was time to move on. He's enjoyed his time here, but uh, he's just looking for a different opportunity. All right. Well, thank you very much, Craig, for your insight. We appreciate that. And thank you, as always, for watching Political Empire. Uh, we'll catch you next time.